All right, we are live, yo. How's it going, everybody? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome on in, yo, Miet. The first in chat here. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. Um, Yo, Chris Skywalker, welcome. Hope you're doing well. One trick from Twitch. Says hi to TikTok. Yo, Entropy, welcome to the Twitch. Naya, how's it going? Love, how's it going? JT, welcome on in. Hope everyone's doing well. Yo, Wisco J, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Phoenix Risen, how's it going? Yo, uh, Nelly Quinn, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. All right. Uh, TBJ Kaiso, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Yo, Juice Guy, welcome on in. Costia, welcome on in. Um, Anton, welcome on in. Hope you're all doing well. Okay. Okay, let's get into this. Uh, Rift World 2, we are 28 exits down. We are super close to the end. Um, and this level here, this next level right here, is this uh, Aqua Lung, the infamous Water Ultra Star level. Yo, Phoenix Risen, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Welcome on in. Germ Dove almost blocked you. Yeah, yeah, that can happen if you're uh, basically um, what looks like trying to impersonate another another friend. All right, let's do this. You gotta, yep. Okay. Okay. This is actually progress. I've never been this far. Okay. That was a good attempt. Um, do we gotta squeeze under or over that guy? It looks like under. I just gotta stay on the very left side, but I'm not entirely sure on that one. That was a good attempt right there, and that is really tough to time right there. God damn, okay. Whew. So excited for this? Yeah, me too. It's gonna be a trip for sure. Ooh, I was a little slow there. Ah, oh, man. That is tough, because you gotta time that just perfectly. Yo, Rachel, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Refuso7, thank you for the heart me. Kronos, thank you for the roses. Appreciate that. Man, I can't get the timing there for the life of me. Yo, Refuso7, thank you for the five tiny dinies. Claudia, thank you for the couch potato gift. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. Okay, so intentionally hitting... Oh, and then he got a clip through... Okay. Okay, this goes really fast. For a water level, this goes really fast. Okay. Yo, Kronos, thank you for the heart me as well. Appreciate that. Yeah, like intentionally hitting the Kaizo block there seems to help. Okay, so then swim down under, swim up. Once you get past the fish. Okay, okay. Nice, that's progress. We'll take that. Okay. So yeah, I do know how to uh, clip through the platform. It's not too bad once you know what to do. Okay, so... Okay, okay. So I was, um... I didn't quite have the right idea in mind, but now I have a better idea. Okay, that's progress. Let's go. Yo, Entropy025 from Twitch. Says hi to TikTok. So it's like that. Oh god. Uh, is that saveable? Not quite. Not quite. Okay, I was a little bit slow, but that's progress. Let's go. Let's go. We are tearing through this, kinda. I mean, it's gonna be a really tough level. Not gonna be easy, but making very steady progress here. Ooh, okay, I was a little bit too high that the platform was able to push me the rest of the way up into that. <sighs> Yo, Fee Coney, thank you for the heart me. Uh, Anton, thank you for the heart me, appreciate that. Ooh, come on. Yo, Biza, welcome on in, hope you're doing well. Des, welcome on in. 
How's it going? Yo, love, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Oh, I was... Okay, I did the same platform clip that I did before, basically. You have to be... Um, the trick to it is you have to be moving down in order to land on platforms. And the corollary to that is if you're moving up, then the platform just doesn't interact with Mario basically at all. So you can actually use that to uh, clip through the platform there. Oh God, this is gonna be messed up. Jesus, okay. That's intimidating. Okay, okay, good attempt, good progress. We'll take the progress. Whew. Next section there looks really tough. <sighs> we'll get it though, yo. Oh snap, thank you for the heart me. Refuso7, thank you for the 10 GGs, appreciate that. Yo, Mrs. Giggs, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Oh, a little slow. Yo, Young D, welcome. Anton, thank you for the cheer you ups, appreciate that. Des, thank you for the heart me, appreciate that. Man, I have very little energy today, just overall. Yo, Des, thank you for the heart me and the cheer you up. Appreciate that. And all the gift spam coming in. No, really? Okay. Technically, I guess I still had a tiny bit of upward speed when the platform crossed through me, apparently. Cool. Yo, KG, welcome to the Twitch. Hope you're doing well. Okay, I wanted to get a little bit ahead there so I'd have more space to work with later on. Yo, Kronos, thank you for the roses. Refuse 07, thank you for the paper crane. Appreciate that. Okay, okay. I do want to do two swims for the clip, ideally. I'm pretty sure you can make the clip there with just one swim, but two seems to work a lot better. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Come on! Okay, okay, that was a good attempt. We're getting there. Man, you heard the swim sound. Oh, come on. The moving platforms in Super Mario World are just generally very glitchy. A lot of like off by one frame issues kind of things and they tend to um, shove you up and down quite a bit. Okay. I was too early or late? I would assume I was too late there. Okay, so then... Okay. <sighs> wow. Jesus. So I lost the first platform. I need to keep the first platform there. Oh my god, man! Jesus! Oh, that's tough. We're getting there, though. Getting there. Making good progress, too. Very steady progress. That is so annoying. You gotta get up there so fast though, cause otherwise you'll lose your platform like I did the other time. So it does look like, um, no, this is not the last level. Uh, it does look like, um, approaching that part, you wanna run along the moving platform and have it like push you with it to the right to get to the rightmost part of the platform before you jump up there. Something like that can definitely help a lot, but oof. 
Ooh. Come on. Man, that is annoying. Come on. Like, I literally get the swim input before dying, and you hear the swim sound, and then I still die. Like, come on. I didn't want to hit that. Okay. <laughs> I saw that it was possible to hit it, and my brain just, like, immediately, I was like, go, 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 go for it. You only have so much time here. You gotta move so quickly through the level, there's no time to think, you just need to go, but... It doesn't exactly know... That doesn't exactly work when you don't know what to do yet. You know, Damn Rebel Justin, thank you for the heart me. Uh, L... Yugue, thank you for the heart me, appreciate that. So, stay- okay. I need to be a little farther to the right, okay? Okay, that's progress, we'll take that. Whew, come on. You'll refuse a seven, thank you for the five tiny dinies, appreciate that. Oh, really? I jumped just slightly too soon, man, that is tough. Okay, we're getting there though. Ah, a little bit too high. I was in a little bit of a panic because like, I was a little bit behind. I was trying to maybe make up for that a little bit, but... Not gonna cut it there. Why did I jump so soon? Man, okay, okay. Yeah, you know, Garrett, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. No, how did I miss the switch? Are you kidding me? Really? The switch like shoved me to the right instead of getting hit. Come on. Man, okay, that was a good attempt. Yo, Pat J. Brannon, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. How's it going? Okay, getting the consistency down though. Please, man, you gotta be so fast there. Okay, so there's no jumping involved there. You just have the other platform scrape you off from the bottom one. Okay. Just a little bit too slow to get up to the top one there. Oh god, oh god, oh god! No! Man! Jeez, you have so little time to work with there. Like, I did clearly, um, get caught up a few times there. Could have gone a lot faster, but... Didn't feel like I got caught up that much to where it would have been that far ahead of me. Jesus. Whew, come on.
Yeah, welcome on in, uh, Marmarina. Hope you're doing well. I'm glad you enjoy the streams. Come on. Ah, oh, this is such a precise level, my god. There's very, very little wiggle room here. Are you kidding me? Damn, okay. Cause you gotta worry about um being shoved up into that muncher by being too far to the left on that platform. But apparently you also gotta worry about running into the fish if you're too far to the right on that platform too. Gotta find the Dear Lord. Gotta find the perfect sweet spot there. Yo, Ellie Red, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Ooh. No! I pressed jump so many times that I just assumed I would already be up there by then, but apparently not. Oh, come on. Just gotta really mash that, I guess. I guess you don't have to, like, time a down input because there is a ceiling to bonk against up there. Yeah, okay. I had to avoid the uh, muncher there. It was a little bit too far over to the left, so I had to adjust for that, but I didn't have time to think that much about my inputs, so. Yo, know, Jenna, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Rocky, welcome on in. How's it going? Yo, Refuso7, thank you for the roses coming in. Appreciate that. No, I double hit! Are you ki- wait. Okay, apparently I didn't have to worry about that because this is that weird double hit patch that still spawns the... <sighs> still spawns the, um... It still makes the animation play as if you hit it twice. But... Then it doesn't count the second hit. I like the one where it just doesn't show the animation at all. Like, just straight up doesn't spawn the bump sprite. My god! Okay, that was progress, but Jesus Christ, you gotta be so fast. Oh my god! Oh, come on. <sighs> ah, come on. <sighs> Envious of your hair and beard. It is pretty nice. Yo, know, Anton, thank you for the 11 roses. Appreciate that. Come on. <sighs> Want fruit dealer again? Um, I might bring it back sometime soonish. I'm gonna probably wait until the uh, games list announcement for Summer Games Done Quick this year. See uh, if um, 
if my run is getting in for Summer Games done quick or not. And if it is, then uh, almost definitely I'll be bringing the incentive back. Just want a little break from it. We've been doing that basically every stream for the past very long time. Oh, come on. Yo, Nick, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Tried to jump over to the other one, but I got stuck on the top one. God damn. Oh, come on. You know, rogue leader, thank you for the heart me. Evan, thank you for the seven tiny dinies. Um Romeo, thank you for the heart me. And Rogue Leader, thank you for the game controller. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for support. <sighs> come on. Ah, uh, that's annoying. If you do it slightly too late like that, then you just clip right back onto it again. Are you lagging or is the stream lagging? Um, I'm not sure. Is anyone else lagging? Because my internet's fine, but sometimes TikTok servers aren't. You know, Jenna, thank you for the 30 lightning bolts. Uh, Jean Shaba Sebastian Bazinet, thank you for the five GGs. Sorry for butchering the pronunciation. No lag here. Nice, thank you. <sighs> Those fish are really annoying. Whew. It's like a pixel off from landing that. Are you kidding me? Come on. At least I can't even really peek ahead. Come on, man. Oh, okay. That is good to know. There's a there's a pillar of fish that I'm gonna be jumping over. <sighs> okay. Yo, Refuse07, thank you for the 10 tiny dinies. Appreciate that. Ooh, that was progress. We'll take the progress, but my god. Literally just like a pixel there. That hurts. Please? Oh, thank god. I had to catch back up to the platform is the main thing. Like, I could have dodged the fish and then left the platform behind, but I need that platform, so. Ooh. We'll take the progress. I was not ready for the fish. It was just way too much um, on screen all at once for my brain to keep up with. Oh, come on. Gotta love the uh, on-off switch hitbox sometimes, just shoving you over. Ah, oh, come on. Ooh, come on. Yeah, the other thing about water levels is they're harder on the hands as well. Let me, uh, let me switch controllers real quick.
Because with water levels like this, you gotta do a lot more um, diagonal inputs in order to actually control the amount of height you get with all of these. And that means pressing down harder on the controller. I'm gonna need the more ergonomic controller here. Yeah, this is a Super Mario World ROM hack called Riff World 2. It was made by Freakin' Haw. I actually feel a lot worse on this controller. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna take a little bit of an adjustment period. Hopefully not too much. Yo, Rocky, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. I'm slow. No, I'm not. Oh god, didn't get the... D okay, we're fine. Wait, what do I do there? Wait, what? Wait, do I... I guess drop off of the platform, wait for it to go up ahead, swim under the fish, the platform will be like zigzagging in place a tiny bit so I'll have enough time to catch up to it maybe because you don't have space to squeeze over those that really caught me off guard okay maybe that'll work we'll give it a shot No! Again, by a single pixel! Come on! Come on! Are we on the best water level ever made? I don't know, I haven't played Waterworld. This is a really good water level here. I'm sure um, Waterworld was very heavily inspired by this one. Oh, okay. Don't pull left there. Absolutely not. Also, how's it going, Ricaro? And, um... Swagger Necrozma from Twitch says hi to TikTok. Come on. Ooh, come on. Or you remember a water level like this? Uh, Zero played it. But yeah, there is the entire ROM hack Waterworld as well, which has levels similar to this. Waterworld indeed is inspired by this level. Yeah, that tracks. <sighs> you know, thanks for the good luck. Appreciate it. Who created Waterworld? Uh, Baba Yaga. At least the Mario ROM hack Waterworld, not the movie and video game. Man, I can't hit the switch anymore. What is happening? Jesus. <laughs> Let's go one shot here, bro. I think it's a little late for that. Maybe one more shot, but... Do you have to go so fast that you can swim off the right side of the platform? Mm. Like walk off of... I don't even know if that's possible. Oh, I was... okay. Kind of lost in my thoughts there. Okay, okay. Ah! 
Why can't I hit the switch anymore? What is happening? Rocky, thank you for the heart me. Refuse 07, thank you for the 12 roses. Appreciate that. Ah, uh, you need the platform because of these um, dotted Kaizo blocks there. Ah, uh, you can only pass up through those from being on a platform. Otherwise, um, they become solid. Like you hit a coin block. They're hidden coin blocks is what they are. <sighs> Short stream tonight. Um, hopefully a normal length stream, but... I mean, if my hands start to hurt, then I'll make it a short stream. entirely sure what I'm doing there. Like, do I want to go fast enough? Hmm. Yo, Anton, thank you for the forever friends gifts, the ten of them. Appreciate that. Love the Wii Classic controller. It's a really good controller. Kind of under a lot of people's radar, but one of the best controllers Nintendo ever made, honestly. Ah, oh, Jesus. Like... That last set of fish there, there's three sets of fish, and that last set of fish there, I'm trying to figure out what to do about it. I'm thinking I have to go fast enough that I can walk off the right edge of the platform, maybe? But in order to do that, you gotta be so optimal with everything else to where it's a lot more tight to actually squeeze past because you don't want to slow down. I could have, like, swerved left there to dodge out of the way, but... Oh! Okay, that's something to worry about. I did that last part too good. Yo, love, thank you for the train gift. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. Really appreciate that. Um, I'm actually using a, um, Bluetooth adapter with a clone console of a Super Nintendo, a fancy clone console of a Super Nintendo that does hardware level emulation rather than software. Um, and then I have the Bluetooth adapter um, plugged into the Super Nintendo controller port on it. Ah, oh, come on! That's so annoying. Like, I'm literally hitting the switch, but I guess I'm also hitting the muncher. Yo, Christian Keen, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I legitimately don't know what to do there. How do I get past those? Because there's not enough space to go over. Do you really, like, pull back on the left side of the platform? To dodge under? You'd need to get under the platform somehow. But do you go ahead of it to the 
to the right of the platform or you do do you go behind and then there's enough space to catch up later which doesn't seem right but ma I don't even know man those fish are really in the way but yeah this is why you need the platforms because you can't sw swim through there without the platform because they're coin blocks Whew. Maybe if you like, I don't know, I, I'd have to look at when the track ends, but maybe if you like stay on the left edge of the platform, then the platform will start falling by the time that the fish would be there to the point where it'll drag you down out of the way of the fish, but I kind of doubt that, I don't know. Yeah, you can't go over. There's not enough space up there. Like, knowing how Mario's hitbox works... Oh god. I legitimately don't know how to deal with that. I mean, like, maybe you could make it over, but it would be an insanely tight squeeze. Like, we're talking... Frame perfect. Yo, Des, thanks for all the gift spam coming in. Appreciate that. I'll figure it out. I don't, I'll figure it out. If you know the solution from watching anyone else play it, uh, please do not spoil it for me. I'm asking these questions rhetorically, not to have them answered. I'm thinking out loud. Yo, Claudia, thank you for the couch potato gift. Appreciate that. Hmm. That was a tricky jump. Because, like, <sighs> theoretically, you could try to squeeze over top of those, but that would just be so unbelievably precise. Come on. Come on. Ooh, come on. Oh! Yep, too slow. Because you can't catch up to it again if it's just moving in a straight line. I haven't been listening to too much music lately. Other than, of course, the music that's played inside of the ROM hacks that I play. Really? Come on! That keeps happening to me. I have the worst luck there. Yo, love, thank you for the watermelon love gift. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. Yo, Claudia, thank you for the two couch potato gifts. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. Oh! 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 Okay. Let's go! Oh, let's go! That is beautiful! Oh my god! Let's go, okay. Hell yeah! Oh my god! Gaming out of my mind! Let's go! Yo, State of Nature, thank you for the epic GG gift. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for support, it means a lot. Oh, let's go! Checkpoint! Hell yeah! Yo, Claudia, thank you for the couch potato gift as well. Really appreciate that. Okay, just a single down swim works there. I wasn't sure, because the way it, like, clips you up there, I thought I was a little bit too low to land on it, but apparently that worked. <sighs> okay. 
Oh, shit. Okay, I should do two down swims, though. Yo, Anton, thank you for the Starlight Compass gift. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for support. It means a lot. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Making progress. Let's go. Yo, Christina, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Okay. Man, this level is so cool. I wasn't sure. Okay, hang left. Like, you can't see enough of the track to know where it'll be safe to dodge past that without slowing down too much. Okay. That was too slow. Yep. 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 Yo, Christina, thank you for the finger heart. Appreciate that. Yo, Marissa, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Why are you messing up? Because I'm learning the level. You gotta learn the level first before you tear through it. Like, that's how time works. Like, I've never seen this level here, so I'm both trying to play it and trying to learn what to do. Okay, pull left onto the left side of the platform. Okay, that's something I literally could not have known until I died to it. Because again, we're learning it as we're playing. Ah, come on. Come on. Yo, Christina, thank you for the hand hearts. Appreciate that. Oh, really? Come on. Ooh. Yo, Claudia! Oh my god! Thank you for the, uh, Zodiac Wheel gift, I think it was. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much for support. It really means a lot. Oh, come on. Yo, thank you so much. You could do this on your second try. I'd love to see that. Oh, come on. Didn't get the upswim there. Yo, Christina, thank you for the heart puffs. Appreciate that. Yo, K-Stats, thank you for the roses coming in. Appreciate that. Ah, Jesus. Stretch the hands just a bit. What's the name of this ROM hack? This is a Super Mario World ROM hack called Riff World 2. It was made by Freakin' Hot. Really like the streams? Yo, glad you enjoy. Appreciate it. Oh, come on. I guess I technically could have saved that with an extra swim, but... Like, I didn't really have time to know that. Okay, I'm too worried about hitting the muncher on the way down that I'm neglecting to worry about the muncher on the way up. Okay, that time, um... That just was, like, the platform went up too soon, that there was no surviving that, so... Clearly, I, like, took too long to land on the number platform. Something like that. Oh, really? Oh, that sucks. Maybe I should do the extra swim there. Like, it's been working without earlier, but... 
When it doesn't, it kind of hurts that I didn't go for the extra swim. Okay, so if I need to, if I do the extra swim, I gotta be ready for it though. Like I knew I would need it there, so I tried to panic into it, but you need to actually be prepared if you're doing it. Okay, I think I saw the problem there. I actually wanna wait a little bit at the very start of the level between when I hit the first platform and when I hit the second platform take a little bit longer to walk off and then that'll give me yeah more time there okay oh, come on yo claudia thank you for the starlight compass gift appreciate that uh jason thank you for the high bear christina thanks for the team bracelets coming in appreciate that Come on. Yo, Ken Ross, thank you for the rose. Appreciate that. Oh yeah, that gives me so much more time to work with there. And then that helps there too. Oh my god, okay. So then I don't have to worry about the extra swim there. That makes everything easier basically if you just stay on this top platform longer before falling off just makes the entire rest of the level basically so much more lenient. Yo, da buddy hug, thank you for the game controller and the heart me. Uh, Christina, thank you for the corgi gift, really appreciate that, thank you so much. I was too slow there. Wow, you gotta be fast. God damn, okay. Okay. That was a good attempt. We'll take it. We'll take it. Whew. Ah. Okay. I wasn't sure which part of the platform to stand on there, so I just made a guess. Left side is not the right side. Well, it's not the correct side either. Okay, so you gotta swim up there. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure what the trajectory there would be. I wasn't quite ready for it just slamming me into the mantra there, but okay. That's some really nice progress there. Yo, Christina, thank you for the lightning bolt, the friendship necklaces, appreciate that. Oh, snap, thank you for the couch potato gift. CJ, thank you for the 30 GGs. Refuse07, thank you for the 25 lightning bolts. Appreciate all the support coming in. Thank you so much. Come on, you heard the swim sound too. Like, just slightly late there. <sighs> oh, come on. Yeah, wasn't far enough to the right there. Had to go for a uh, extra swim there, but I didn't have the time to really. Ooh, stretch the hands a bit. Do I watch any anime? Not lately, no. I haven't since, like, high school. Uh, my favorite anime, though. And you can argue in the comments if you want whether it's an anime or not, but Avatar The Last Air Airbender is really good. Oh, come on. New controller. Uh, this is the one that I switched to when my hands hurt. This is the more ergonomic controller here because it actually has handles.
Okay. Okay! No, I'm too slow. I'm too slow. Man! Okay, so then that makes it go down there. And we go up here. Goes up through us there. Brings us over to that. That's gotta be close to the end. Yep. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, goddamn, this is quite the level. Oh. I mean, technically, Blue's Clues is an anime. If you're going by the Japanese definition of the word anime. Of course, the colloquial English definition of the word anime means Japanese animation. Or technically, like... Eastern Asian animation that has a specific style. I, there's probably more specific criteria for what anime means, but... We're just going by the Japanese word anime. And technically all cartoons are anime. Favorite anime is The Simpsons, so true. Come on, just the slightest pixel of the muncher still sticking out. Ooh, thoughts on Dragon Ball Z? I have not seen it. Not had the pr pleasure. through the platform by doing an extra swim. Okay. Okay. Good attempt. Good attempt. It's Dragon Ball Z in Canada. That's true. That is how the Canadians pronounce their Zs. Their Zs. Ah, I was slightly late on the swim input there. God, okay. We're getting there though. Really good consistency at this point. But yeah, in terms of like actual anime that I've watched, I haven't watched much, but Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, really, really good stuff. Yeah, I took too much time in the part before that, that I just didn't have enough time there. <sighs> Gotta keep up with the levels rhythm here. Okay, gotta be careful of that too. Ooh, come on. Yes. No! What? Really? Are you kidding me? Man! Really? How'd I fall off of that? Come on. Oh, good attempt though. We'll take the progress. My God, really? Ooh, come on. Okay, got another shot here. 
I do have to do the extra swim there. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. You know, Taco's the casual. Welcome on in. Really enjoying Rift 2 so far. Really fun hack. Come on! That is evil, really! <sighs> well, we live here now. <sighs> we live here now. This is an actual soft lock, isn't it? Yep, yep. I actually have to wait this out. Otherwise, I lose my checkpoint. <laughs> so, how's everybody doing? Ah, oh, yep, no muncher to die off of. That is a real, actual soft lock right there. Ah, oh. yep, yep. I got all a little over an um, of oh Jesus a little over a minute and a half to wait here Or a, a minute and a half left to wait from this point you Ordered the coffee nice hell yeah Yeah, I really like the um stump town um the Holler Mountain Blend. Really good coffee. I buy it whole bean and then I have a pretty nice uh, hand grinder that I use. 100 in-game seconds is approximately 68 IRL seconds for reference. Yeah, I always um, round it to just say 100 Mario seconds is about a minute, which is close enough. <sighs> okay, getting close, getting close. Yeah, this is a real soft lock actually have to wait this out. I could go and um, save the checkpoint in the Eldad room. That is an option. Yo, Kronos, thank you for the two roses. Appreciate that. There isn't any exit. Not up here. This is where we live now. Did not know the seconds were faster on Mario after all these years. Uh, yeah, it's in the, specifically the older Mario games. In the newer Mario games, they are actual seconds. Yo, Refuse07, thank you for the 20 GGs, appreciate that. Five, four, three, two, one, dead. Okay, let's try not to get soft locked this time. Oh god. Okay, at least we didn't get soft locked. Actually, let's save the checkpoint so that doesn't happen again, because I feel like that'll happen again. Let's save the checkpoint here. Of course, with this music. Blue, 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 blue. Blah, blah. I accidentally exited. If only that level had an exit like that. It hated my singing. <laughs> I got punished for the singing. The Eldad Blue. There we go. Okay. My Eldad impression was a lot better there, at least. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. 
Uh, the orb there was just to save the checkpoint. That's a checkpoint saving room there. So now I have the option to reset my console in order to get out of the soft lock without losing my checkpoint. Yo, Texas, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. panicked. Mmm, I panicked. Okay. God, this level is so fast. Really hard to keep up with it. Okay. I wasn't sure when the platform would fall. That's a lot later than I was thinking. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. And I don't have to worry if I get soft locked. It'll be fine. Though, preferably, just don't get soft locked. Yo, shoutouts to Link Dead X2. Yo, Refuso7, thank you for the five finger hearts. Appreciate that. You got soft locked, I got soft locked. Yep. It's pretty hard not to get soft locked here. I do um I do applaud that this is a real actual soft lock. Like it takes a lot of Take some balls to put a real actual soft lock in your ROM hack. And I, I admire that. A little bit too fast on the jump there. You know, Joker, thank you for the money gun gift. Really appreciate that. Tampon guy, thank you for the two TikToks. Appreciate the support. Oh, that was close. Was like inside of that muncher there. Okay, better than getting soft locked. So we want to rush to the right side of the platform still, but then like try and clip up through the dolphin and then we can potentially try to use the dolphin to enter the pipe. Something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Again, we saved the checkpoint, so it shouldn't be as big of a deal if we get soft locked again. You're singing brought in a new follower? Hell yeah. That follower should go to Eldad. Like, Eldad deserves the credit for that one. I was just doing my best Eldad impression. Shouts to Link that X2. Oh, 
Oh, I was too late on the switch hit there. The platform didn't go the right way. Do I live in Oregon? I do. Yeah, I haven't been uh, keeping up with my TikTok notifications all that much lately. It's been nice. I've been able to avoid the TikTok app for a while. I feel like getting being addicted to TikTok was a pretty unhealthy thing. I'm glad I'm able to uh, avoid it, but that also means not keeping up with the notifications I should probably be keeping up with, given that TikTok is my main gig right now. Come on. Have I ever traveled outside the US? No, I haven't. I should probably get um, a passport at some point. It's on the list of things I'm really lazy about that I should probably get around to at some point. Come on! That felt good. Apparently that was too late. It was a good attempt though. Whew. Where would I want to go? I mean, I would just like get a passport for the sake of having a passport. You never know. Not necessarily to just immediately start traveling with it, but good to have one. Sometimes those platforms aren't moving quite in sync with one another. I think that's because I'm doing the... doing that... like, the part leading up to that too slow. Something like that, but... Oh, come on. That's not fair. The exotic land known as Canada. Yeah, like, you never know. I, I do live fairly up north in terms of the US, so like, you never know, it might just be convenient to go to Canada and then be like, oh whoops, I don't have a passport, guess I can't go, and then I'm the one holding everyone back, you know? So just generally something that I should probably get my hands on at some point. Oh, that fish got in the way. Oh, Cause the muncher, like I was too close to hitting the muncher, so I had to swim up an extra time, but then that fish up ahead got in the way. Just a very, very particular setup there. Yo, Refuse07, thank you for the GG's coming in. Appreciate that. You don't have a passport yet? Yeah, you should probably get around to that. Probably sooner rather than later. Like, July is a fair bit out, but there's processing, processing times and all that, and you never know what could get, like, what sort of problems you might run into. Yo, Sid, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Uh, 
that that was late again, really. Man, that is such a frustrating death. Come on. Oh. Come on. Where's the retro controller? Uh, that one's less ergonomic. These water levels hurt the hands, so... I'm using the more ergonomic controller here. For the sake of my hands. Uh, I was too slow. Yeah, man! <sighs> if you don't get the perfect trajectory to begin with there, and then you end up that you, like, you're falling down towards that mantra there and you need an extra swim, you're just dead. Like, there's nothing you can do to save it. <sighs> Speedrun this level. I mean, speedrunning this level and just playing the level normally pretty much look identical to one another. That's fine. I realized that I needed the extra swim there soon enough that I, I was able to save it. Okay. Nice. Okay. 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 Okay, I've managed to avoid the soft lock. Let's go. Okay. Ooh. That is such a terrifying ending. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go. Yo, Claudia, thank you for the Starlight Compass gift. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for support. It means a lot. Anton, thank you for, for the 22 GGs. Appreciate that. Okay. Nice. Till kingdom come. Let's check this out. Let's do this. Point of advice! You've made it! Bowser's spirit resides in these halls. Your quest to destroy him for good is almost over. Good luck! Okay. I assume five room castle. Point of advice! Grab a midway to start near any room. If you wish to return to the start, just take any yellow pipe. A, B, C, D. Interesting. Let's check out room D, because I unlocked that by getting the blue switch palace. Ooh, this is a throwback to the, um, to probably my favorite part of Rift World 1. Oh yeah, okay. Oh! I was not looking at the screen. <laughs> Hardest level by far. I haven't played it yet. I don't know how hard it is. I have to assume that, like, maybe this is the hardest level of the hack, but not that I've ever played ever. Again, I haven't played it yet. Okay, I was hoping it would just shoot a bullet and I would look really cool there, but nope. Didn't quite shoot when I assumed it would. I did see the launcher. Oh. Okay, so if you do go fast enough, then... Then I think you can just run right off the ledge there and it'll just work. Okay, let me give that a shot then. Oh, the hardest level that I've played? Um, I don't know. 
it's it's a toss up. I played a lot of hard levels. And there's a lot of very different types of difficulty that I've played. Oh, really? Okay, you do need to jump. You can't just walk off. You need to jump, but then you can still just hold right. Okay. Yeah, shoutouts to uh, Eldad Singh. The classic. Oh, you watched the original Eldad Sing live? You witnessed history. Ah, uh, okay, so if you hold back before jumping like that, if you hesitate at all, then you just get the awkward moment there where it's just off screen so it can't fire. Kind of tough to time. Okay. I'm sad that uh, most of the people watching on TikTok right now have no idea what we're talking about. Should I fill them in? I think we should fill them in. Uh, L Dad Sing. Thank God. Okay, it came up immediately, thankfully. Uh, window capture. Where is Eldad Singh? There it is. I have too many goddamn windows open. Okay. Wait, wait. Let's enter the level. Pause the game. This is Link Dead X2. He's got such a beautiful voice, honestly. Shouts to Link Dead X2. Okay, okay, that's progress. That's progress, we'll take that. Let's go. Must be classically trained. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> His voice is majestic. It really is, yeah. Perfect pitch, yep. There's a moment in history right there. Oh, come on, I still missed the switch. God damn, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. <sighs> Just joined, what was that? That was the classic Eldad Sing. Bit of Mario history right there. And the reason I pull that up is because in this ROM hack, there's a reference to that right up in here, in the rest house. One of the oldest Kaizo memes, yep. Actually, wait, okay. Shout out! Do yourself a favor and check out Link Dead X2.
Alright, back to it. Let's do this. Oh, come on! Why is it so hard to aim for the on-off switch in the ceiling there? Whew. Don't forget to follow Freakin' Ha on Twitch. That's true, yeah. Yeah, don't want to jump directly into the thwomp. That's not a good idea there. Uh, why did the Koopa turn around? Like, that makes no sense to, to me. Like, he's facing left, and then I bounce off of him, and then he's walking to the right there, out of the way of where I'm aiming. Really got to pay attention there. Oh, really? Okay, so I need to um, swerve far enough to the right that I activate the thwomp. Apparently, I didn't. Apparently, I did that last time and just didn't realize. Okay. What was that cape sound? Where'd that come from? I don't have cape. Where'd the cape sound come from? That was weird. You know, Izzy Oda, thank you for the uh, corn gifts coming in. Appreciate that. Okay, then I end up focusing too much on activating the thwomp that I spend... Man, that is really hard to uh, actually hit that switch. Oh, come on. That's just a bot account. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure when we get that message in the Twitch chat, it's just a bot. Because I've gotten so many first-time chatters say that exact message in Twitch chat. Pretty sure they're, like, trying to spark up a conversation and then say, like, Oh yeah, by the way, um, I'm a graphic designer or whatever, like, or, uh, by the way, uh, if you want to grow your channel, you can check out blah blah blah. Like, yeah. That's the entire point that they join chat. <sighs> Come on. No! Okay, I gotta do a re-grab over there. Okay! Okay! That is some hot progress. We will take that. Okay, nice. So I'm not sure how the checkpoints work in this castle, though. I'm assuming that when we get that door, that's not gonna be a checkpoint. Oh, come on. Midair shell jumps in bio, yep. That's actually true. The link in my bio, um, the first thing that you see when you click the link in my bio is an animated gif of uh, Mario doing midair shell jumps. Oh, come on. Okay, don't want to jump there. Just want to walk off. Okay. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, so now we have some other rooms to choose from. I think we'll just go with whatever one that the Switch Palace unlocks for each one. Oh my god! We get more rooms inspired by the- or I guess not inspired by because it's by the same creator, but more rooms that take off from the uh... I guess successor to that one- that one castle in Rift World 1 that I really loved. Hell yeah. Yeah, they don't even include the, like, dotted square symbol. The dotted rectangle symbol in the, um, Twitter spam bot posts anymore. They do all kinds of things now. Okay, so that's a big normal jump. Then we go up to the switch, ride the platform down, jump over to the square, okay? I say it GIF just because um, I used to say it G-I-F, like just spelling out the letters. And so a quicker way of saying G-I-F is just saying GIF. Of course, there's a Kaizo block there. Why not rewind? Uh, with what rewind button? Please enlighten me. Wait. Um, wait. Ha. Do I need to do a meter bounce off the thwomp? Is that what I'm doing there? I keep... That is such a troll there. <laughs> okay. Um, no, I can't do a midair bounce off the thwomp because it'll already be fallen out of the way by the time I get there. So... Man, that saw there is so mean. Yo, Wang Wang, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Or maybe, maybe... Mm. No, because you definitely... Hmm. I don't know how... This- this opening here is tricky. It's like you can do that, but then... Can't catch back up to the platform. So maybe it's the extra time that I'm spending doing the running jump up to the switch. Maybe I can just jump immediately, get enough height into the switch, and then fall back and catch up to the platform somehow? I don't know. Ooh, that is kind of close. Maybe that is how you're supposed to do it. Like, that looks like the right thing to do. But I don't know, there is a decent amount of distance we have to make up there. Yo, Refuso7, thank you for the 30 roses, appreciate that. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, the bonk! You're kidding me, okay, okay. Finally making progress, let's go. Hell yeah. Yeah, that is tough to catch back up to the platform there. Okay. Ooh. Especially with that Kaizo block getting in the way. Very annoying Kaizo block on the right side. Oh, how'd I miss the switch? Are you kidding? I disagree. Come on. Okay, then we're doing a midder ba thwomp bounce up ahead, it looks like. Nice! Let's go. Hell yeah. Okay. L. I guess we'll take the L. Let's take the L.
Okay. Again, just immediately missed the switch. <laughs> That's actually tough to hit, because you need to do it with a spin jump, but a spin jump gives you a weird trajectory for hitting the switch there. Oh, that's not right. So ideally we want both of the saws moving to the right there. And then we want to try and hit the next switch right away too. Yo, Tingly Spice, thank you for the heart me, appreciate that. Wait, wait, how are you? Oh, you actually, yeah, okay, so you do want one of the saws moving to the left and the other one moving to the right, I think? Because otherwise they're just gonna move too far away from you that you can't get them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because if both of them are moving to the right, then you can't catch up. Okay. Yo, Tingly Spice, hope you're doing well. How's it going? How many rooms do you need to complete? I don't know. Yeah, okay. Okay, I definitely need one of them to just be going left. Maybe you just hold right from the very start and it just lines up. We'll try that. I've been like hesitating and trying to wait for the right timing, but maybe the right timing is just right away. Yep, it is. Okay, so you, okay. Big bounce off the paracoupa, hit the switch immediately, then grab the shell, okay. Nice aiming. Okay. Whew. Come on. Ah, come on. Really? Why are these switches so hard to hit? Oh, El Yugue, thank you for the five roses. Anthony, thank you for the 50 GGs. Appreciate that. Also, gotta love the saw hitboxes, by the way. Those hitboxes for bouncing off those saws, uh, the hitbox size is the same size as just a regular shell. Yeah, so like, I didn't get a bounce there because the saw hitbox is actually just a tiny little... Basically, only the very center of the saw actually lets you bounce off of it. The entire rest just doesn't exist, and I... Okay, I got a really low bounce there. That explains why you can't saw surf to save your life. Yep, yep. It's one of the hardest things to learn as a beginner. Which sucks because it's um, a required part to get really good at that for uh, Quickie World 1. Thankfully, there are better um, beginner Kaizo hacks to start out with, but that used to be like the beginner hack to go for. Why do I keep spinning? Okay. Buffalo hot Cheetos? I'd, I'd have to try them. That sounds pretty good. Okay, that... Actually, um... No, we could do that as a normal jump. I would just need to be far enough ahead of the saw, I think. I uh, just have to... I don't know if you can do the spin jump quickly enough to bounce off the saw there, though. If I'm doing it like that. The other alternative to that would be to do um, some kind of juggle with the shell to... Uh, I don't know if I have enough time for that juggle. I don't know, maybe, maybe.
nope, I don't have enough time for that. Okay, so yeah, looks like I'll have to jump ahead of the um, saw with a normal jump and then immediately spin jump off the saw as soon as possible, shortest possible jump. Hopefully that'll work if I'm fast enough. Right, I have to actually remember to do it as well. <sighs> Only 53 people on Twitch. 53 people on Twitch is quite a lot for Twitch. Yo, Andrew, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. I... Okay, now... Now that I actually tried to do the spin jump, I can't remove that from my muscle memory. And I have to, like, actually actively think to avoid doing that. There we go. Okay, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to hit the shell before or after it hit the switch there. I realized slightly too late that it's after. Your Refuso 7, thank you for the 20 GGs. Appreciate that. I'm fine with, um... People talking about my view count. A lot of streamers do um, hide their viewer count and they don't want to know what it is. So it is generally bad etiquette to uh, bring it up like that, but for me, it doesn't bother me. That is tough. Okay, so I want to basically swerve as far left as I can. Uh, I swerved a little too far left. Okay. Yo, Rachel, welcome back. Yo, Connor, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you're good, Mally. Come on. Thing is, like, being a TikTok streamer, it's, like, basically my job to put up with, um, really... Really obnoxious questions a lot of the time. Um, okay. So I was doing the right thing. But yeah, I, uh, I have quite a bit of a tolerance for, um... For a wide range of chat messages. Yo, Noah, welcome on in. Thank you for the good luck, appreciate it. Yo, Dave Scott, thank you for the fruit friends gift, appreciate that. Yeah, I don't really let anything get under my skin. At least for the most part. Yo, Rachel, thank you for the game controller. Appreciate that. You know, Marbar likes wine from Twitch. Says hi to TikTok. Man, that is an awkward ass shell jump. Okay, good attempt though. I gotta be super fast there too, because the extending platform on the right side of the screen, that's gonna start pulling away from me too. Oh, that sucks. Uh, I guess the saw did an extra bounce earlier? Something like that? I was too far ahead of it. Ooh, come on. Ah, 
Come on. Yo, Tingly Spice, thank you for the tiny diny gifts coming in. Appreciate that. That time I just pressed the jump button too early. Okay. Come on. Tough level. Tough level. We're getting there, though. Thankfully, the checkpoints are very frequent in this castle. Do have to wonder um, what the boss fight will be like. I assume it'll be a vanilla Bowser edit of some sort, maybe, but I have no way of knowing. Also, I have not even checked out any of the other rooms other than the ones that need the Switch Palaces. Okay, that time I was a little too slow because I was worried about the fact that I was too fast earlier, so I was trying to... Okay. Oh god, the screen stopped scrolling. That was so unexpected and disorienting. Okay, okay. Good attempt, we're making progress. Okay. Yo, Refuso7, thank you for the 10 tiny dinies. Appreciate that. No! Come on. Yo, Dave Scott, thank you for the team bracelets coming in. Appreciate that. That was too slow? Come on. Man, you gotta be fast. Whew. This game is giving you anxiety. Yeah, I get that a lot. I do play a lot of really tough games. Are you constantly super close to dying? I'm used to it, though. Oh, God. We're good. We're good. Okay, checkpoint, let's go. Hell yeah. There's a red switch palace? Wait, what? Okay. I need to find the red switch palace. I, I was wondering about my X account being short. So where is the red switch palace then? Okay, we have to find that. Okay, where, oh where, could my red switch palace be? So theoretically, I guess every subworld should have a switch palace, I'm guessing? Let's see here. Oh, duh. It's right here. Okay, okay. I just didn't play this level. Straight to hell. Let's do this. Taking a bit of a detour. I want to be sure to actually complete the hack. <laughs> okay. We haven't played this level yet, so let's get that out of the way here. Okay. Point of advice. If a buzzy wakes up midair, it won't bounce when it lands. Uh, try dropping it just before the peak of your jump. Okay, gotta be fast. As always, gotta be fast. Let's do this. Okay. Kind of awkward with the, um, the extending platform there. I threw that too soon. Oh god. Ah! Okay. <sighs> Little bit awkward there. Okay. Okay. What am I doing? 
What am I doing? Okay, so we're dropping it and then bouncing off of it. Gotcha. Okay. So that's the trick. So with that in mind, what does this message box actually mean? You could probably interpret this better. If a buzzy beetle wakes up midair, it won't bounce when it lands. Try dropping just before the peak of your jump. Okay, now that makes sense because I've actually gotten there and I know what it means. Well. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So if you throw it too soon, um, then it actually won't get that block turning because uh, the turn blocks only actually activate if the turn block is fully on screen. Otherwise, if it's off screen, it can't start turning for some reason. I don't know why. I guess something, something, um, bump sprites are supposed to spawn on screen. And I guess like as an optimization, the animation doesn't play if they're off screen. Cause it's off screen, why would you play an animation for something that's off screen? Um, but if the animation doesn't play, then the actual thing doesn't happen either. Oh, that is very obnoxiously placed up there. Okay, maybe I could even um, toss the beetle up into that to prevent that from happening. Like that? No. Maybe? Is that how you want to do that? I guess it is. Maybe. Okay. Uh, if anything, Baron of Shell was probably inspired by this. Because this came first by a long shot. By multiple years, I believe. Or at least a year. But I think multiple years. Yeah, not just a year. Okay, wasn't expecting him to start moving left there. Yeah, that is... Okay, I need to be ready for that. So as soon as it hits the floor, it starts walking left. Yo, Keisha Smith, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Ah, we're fine. It's fine. Nice. Oh. Oh, that is such an awkward jump. Is that really how I want to do that? I could do an extra bounce off of that. Yeah, okay, so we could do two low bounces off of that bottom one. Maybe that would be best then. You know, the one who left it all behind from Twitch says hi to TikTok. Okay, okay, that was close. Gotta love the hitbox on those Super Koopas, by the way. They look like there's a super wide hitbox that you could land on, but the hitbox on those Super Koopas is the exact same hitbox as uh, just a regular bat. Gotta aim for the head. Oh, come on. Ah, 
I wasn't... I wasn't sure if it would walk left or if it would bounce right. Because that's depending on how soon you drop it, which is what's explained in the message box here, but I feel like it's better for me if it does do the bouncing. Oh god. Yeah, because if it's farther to the left, then that muncher is more of a threat. So, in that case, I should probably wait longer before throwing it to the turn block to start here. Yeah. Yeah, so like two bounces off of that bottom one. Okay, that could definitely work. Okay. Just gotta be like fully, fully ready for that. Oh god! Okay. That's progress. We'll take the progress. Yo, Refuso7, thank you for the 30 lightning bolts and the 5 cheer you ups. El Yugue, uh, Yugue, thank you for the um, 4 chilies. Appreciate that. Keisha Smith, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate the support coming in. Whoa, 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 whoa! Do I really need both? Can you just make it over that muncher with one bounce? Am I overcomplicating that by going for two bounces? I think you can just make it over. Like, I see that other spike top and I just assume that you need it. I don't know if that's a good assumption to make there. Yeah, no, you can just make that. I, I saw that we were throwing it left, I just didn't know any of the timings because that was my first time there. How could I have known? Okay. Okay, that's a little tough, but we got it. Okay, nice progress. Let's go. You know, El Yugue, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. that way too late. Okay. <sighs> Got this. Yeah, thank you. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Good. Oh, I wasn't... Okay. I wasn't sure if I would need the bat or not. Apparently I do. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. Good progress. Let's go. We're getting there. Ooh, come on. Oh, this is my last chance for a yump. I've gotten zero out of four yumps in this hack. I need my yump. This is my last shot for a yump. Of 
course, we have to beat this level and then the Switch Palace to even go for it, but I'll be my last shot at it in this hack. Should make it count. Dear Lord! Okay, that was way more awkward than the first time I got there. I don't need a yump, but I want a yump. Oh, come on. Wasn't far enough to the right to re-grab the shell, so I had to readjust my position, but then I had to slow down as well, but you can't slow down without turning left, and if you turn left, then you throw the shell into the wrong spot. Oh god. Okay, okay. I mean, that was my first time getting there. I didn't have time to react. Okay, okay, nice progress. Let's go. I wasn't sure when to go, because there's no way to really know without already having played this. Got the lava suck, of course. <sighs> Gotta love the lava suck. That's close. Overshot that jump just a tad. <sighs> Come on. What's the difference between, um, castle lava and cave lava? Um, so castle lava just works about how you'd expect it to. Cave lava is designed for, um, the skull rafts to run along. And it has some weird kind of properties to make that actually work. Um, one of those properties, for some reason, is that when you're dipping your toes into it just, like, halfway, uh, you lose all of your horizontal speed. Like, just all of a sudden, you're stopped in your tracks. And so, even if you don't get low enough into the lava that you die from the lava itself, losing your speed like that can end up killing you instead. And then the other difference as well is that, um, stuff like, uh, shells and stuff like that can, um, or wait, not shells, um, there's some specific sprites, uh, that can glide along the top of it. Not just the skull rafts, but... I think that mainly just applies to, um, the sloped lava. But keys, for example, I'm pretty sure keys aren't destroyed by the cave lava. 
So if you have a key and you set it in the cave lava, then it just sits on top of the cave lava, for example. I'm pretty sure that happens. I could be mixing that up with the sloped cave lava, though. Sloped cave lava and flat cave lava are different. What game am I playing? This is a Super Mario World ROM hack called Rift World 2. It was made by Freakin' Hawk. We got a really fun stream today. We have a water level and we got a, uh, we got an auto scroller here. Everyone's favorite types of levels. Ooh, a little bit too slow. <sighs> Come on. Woke up too late. Not woke enough. This beetle here needs to be more woke. Oh god! I never expect that to happen. Whew. Maybe I should just drop it so late that despite the fact that it walks to the left, it's landing like all the way on the right side. I think that's the way you're supposed to do it. Not quite that far to the right, though, but something like that. Just a little bit earlier than that. Something like that. Okay. Love a good cape level. Last stream was really, really fun. Shouts to uh, Flipspad for that level. Really fun level. me again, man. Oh, that is annoying. Come on. You know, Refuso7, thank you for the 10 GGs. Appreciate that. Yeah. Have I watched the new Godzilla movie? I'm not much of a movie guy. I don't watch movies very often at all. The answer to that question, no matter what the movie is, very... Very likely to be no. Even the Mario movie. Just haven't gotten around to it still. Oh crap. I threw that too soon anyway. Even if I had made the jump after it, I just threw it too soon. So I was dead no matter what. a tight squeeze god damn okay so ideally you want to get up onto the platform as soon as you can so that the spike top there doesn't have as much time to move to the left and make that as tight as it is there okay I've literally pressed the jump button. I disagree. <sighs> Was the last movie I got excited about or wanted to see? I don't even remember at this point. 
so long ago. Oh god! Oh god! Accidentally did the wrong jump. Okay. Cool. No, I threw the shell too soon anyway. Okay, so I had to like, I was trying to catch back up to it. It was too late, even if the mantra wasn't there. Oh. You gotta be careful about that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Checkpoint. Hell yeah. Let's go. Okay. Ooh. Let's go. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh god, okay. Nice progress. i9-12900KS. Isn't that a CPU? Like an Intel CPU? What is this bot on about? That walks left is so disorienting. <sighs> okay. Yep. Oh, the pad didn't activate when I thought it would. Okay. Are you kidding me? How did I not get the bounce there? Really? Oh, come on. Okay, good attempt though, man. Come on. Yo, Refuso7, thank you for the 10 GGs. Appreciate that. I am just not able to get the bounce off of that. Like, it's just not happening. Oh, come on. Come on. <sighs> the wall bonk saved my ass there. Yep, okay, too slow.
Okay. Okay. So that looks like it's probably about halfway through the section there. Pull back left hard enough. Okay. Okay. That's actual progress. Let's go. It was actually fast enough that time. Hell yeah. Have they come up with such cool levels? Uh, lots of hard work. Um... Lots of hard work, rigorous playtesting, um, inspiration, pretty big deal. Um, like this is a continuation of the Kaizo tradition, so it's a decent bit of inspiration that comes from earlier creations from other people. Nice beard. Yeah, thank you. Probably going to be trimming it a little bit shorter pretty soon. But just a little bit. Oh! Okay, so I need that to hit three turn blocks there. So I probably just want that shell to just keep going. And then just jump out of the way of it, maybe? I don't know if I can make it go faster by stopping and then re-throwing it every time. Or if I should just let it do its own thing and get out of the way. Okay, okay, that is what I want to do. And then I jump up, bounce off of it. Okay. I need to get ahead of it up there, too. Okay. Nice progress. Okay. We're getting there. Okay, my, um, my muscle memory kind of kicked in and made me want to do those by grabbing it and throwing it manually. Which might have worked, but the auto-scroller made me panic a little bit. Oh, I hate it when I just barely miss it by a single pixel like that. Whew. These types of levels used to be called and found as impossible Mario. I mean, Kaizo, as a genre, goes all the way back to 2007. Okay. Probably want to bounce off of the chuck, okay? Just wasn't expecting a chuck running at me, and again, like, you have no time to react here. Man, okay. <sighs> Mexican or Italian food, which is better? Ooh, it's a tough call. Just forgot what shell I was dealing with up there. My brain was not focused enough there.
I don't know if I can choose between Mexican and Italian food. Both are really good. I didn't mean to do that! Yeah, just dead. Couldn't get it in the right groove there, jumping over the shell. Just ended up stopping it and grabbing it every time, which takes too long. Man, and now I'm trying to jump out of the way and dodge that shell as if it's the later shell. Really gotta focus. How old were you when you were born? Uh, probably at least 10. I don't know, I was born pretty old. <sighs> Ask nonsense questions, get nonsense answers. Okay, I was not expecting a Koopa there either, my god. <laughs> oh. Man, like, whenever I start to form muscle memory for the shell later on in this level, it eats away at the mes muscle memory for the shell at the start of this level. Jesus. Like, my brain only has the space for one thing to possibly do with a shell. Whoa! I didn't... <laughs> like, okay? What am I supposed to do there? I don't even know. There was nowhere to go. I even did some really sick jumps off of those Koopas. It didn't matter for anything, apparently, though. Legitimately no idea what I'm doing there. Oh. Why was it moving to the right that time? Usually it... That was weird. Did it like bounce off the wall before I grabbed it at the start? Maybe? I don't even know. Oh, maybe it did. Cause it did there too. I have to pay attention to what happens with it here. I, or, or not, apparently. Don't even get to find out. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, so it usually actually bounces off the muncher there, so I guess it would be like if I get there so fast at the start that it doesn't turn around, then it moves to the right? Maybe. Do I dream about playing? No. That was too soon. Okay, so if I jump right, left, right, left, left, right, like something like that, that might work better, maybe? Okay, actually that works a lot better.
Okay, like, what the hell am I actually supposed to do there? What? I am so confused. It just makes no sense. The hell am I doing there? I don't see what on earth it could be. Does it want me to hit the chuck there? That makes... Stabilizing my momentum a lot more awkward. <sighs> I don't think it would want me to do that there. There's not a reason you would need to, and if you don't need to do something in a Kaizo level... That just doesn't seem like something that would be necessary. I really don't understand what I'm doing there. I am so confused. Why are those Koopas there? Do I wanna... <sighs> I have an idea that could maybe... Maybe be something. We'll give it a shot. So what if we um use that Koopa to let the Chuck pass over and jump to the right? But then after bouncing off the Koopa, we just jump right back up top onto the ledge again, and then we spin jump down. That's the only conceivable idea that I have there for something that could possibly work. Everything else just wouldn't make sense. I didn't mean to spin! Oh, it's fine. That's what you actually do. Okay. I didn't think that we would be able to make it all the way from that first Koopa to the second Koopa with the spin jump, but apparently you can. Interesting. It didn't look like it would be possible, but apparently it is. Okay, figured it out at least. Okay. Did I min mean to spin? No, I did that by accident. I just stumbled into the right solution. Okay. Oh, God. I must have bounced off it too soon at the start again. Yeah, like I knew it would involve a spin jump at some point. But like it didn't make sense because... Here, let me focus here. Nice, okay. Oh god! Okay, I need that block. That's too bad. <sighs> okay. Oh, that is such an awkward angle to grab that throw block. Dear lord, okay. 
Good attempt, though. Good attempt. We're getting there. You know, Corvax, welcome on in. Thank you for the heart me. Appreciate it. You know, Adrian, welcome on in. Gotta be getting close to the end. Yeah, pretty sure we're getting pretty close. Of course, then we still have to do the entire Switch Palace and then finish up the final castle and figure out whatever the final boss is. Come on. This look impossible. That's because it actually is. Um, I've just been playing a level that's actually impossible to win. Like, you can do all these cool tricks and all that, but there's just no ending. Jesus Christ! I was able to grab the block, but then you have so little time to jump after, too? My god. <laughs> oh, come on. Whoa, the truck was inside of me. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Hit all three blocks just to be safe. <laughs> Let's go. Thank God I didn't get trolled at the end. I was being kind of reckless with Kaizo block stuff there. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Could have been a lot more careful there watching out for Kaizo blocks, but I just did not have that in me there. Okay. Red Switch Palace. Strange Brew. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. You cannot rope glitch. Wait, maybe you can. I wasn't doing rope glitch inputs. But well, let's try without. Okay, that's such a weird start. <laughs> you can't hold right. Right at the start. It's not quite. Oh. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's definitive proof right there that you can't rope glitch, but... Maybe I still wasn't doing the inputs good enough. I wasn't trying to rope glitch either there. I was just trying to jump off the rope in time. Okay, that's just a spin jump, which means almost definitely you cannot rope glitch this. I have a better camera now. Yeah, I do. Really happy with it. Okay. And uh, it's really high resolution. Yo, Miki, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. A little bit late on that one. Okay. Why do you wear gloves? Uh, these are compression gloves. They help prevent hand pain. You can count my beard hairs. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Man, the fact that you're just dead if that happens, or wait, technically you could get P-Speed, but it'd be kind of hard with this space. I mean... Oh, come on! Yeah. I got a full P-Meter, but I wasn't able to, like, get 40, 48, 49 speed there. The full P meter doesn't cut it for a six tile jump there. 
you actually need the full speed. Which comes a little bit after your P meter fills up. Nice. Okay, how are you trolling me? What is that? Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> See, I saw that little thing poking out from the lava there. Yeah, we got the yump! Finally, we got a yump in this hack. It only took five tries. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. It is kind of a miracle that I didn't get trolled there. Let's go. Just one shot that final room. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's a yump? Uh, it's a frame perfect jump that you can do off of the, um, the switch. If you press the jump button, at the exact same 1 60th of a second, the exact same frame as you land on it, um, and not a 60th of a second too soon or too late, then you get a jump as you're, um, as you're, as you're activating the switch. Oh, well, yep, I'm just dead. Yo, Knickknack Paddywhack, thank you for the two game controllers. Appreciate that. Uh, Sorvete, thank you for the rose. Appreciate that. Oh, God. Okay. Isn't it, um, Ace Visibility Day today? I think so. Yeah, that was kind of close to saving it, but the munch... The munchers were just a little bit too high. It is. Hell yeah. Good month. Except bad month, because I have to do my taxes. That's gonna suck. Especially, like, being self-employed as a streamer. Um, you don't get the taxes automatically sent to the IRS. So whenever you, uh, whenever tax day comes up, you have to pay the full amount while filing your taxes, and it adds up. Ooh, okay, gotta be really fast, okay. Nice progress, okay. Then, okay, then up there, down there, spin there, okay. Really? God, that is such a... Oh. This is one hell of a jump there. The bonk, of course. <sighs> really? How are you able to get enough distance there? Come on. That's insane. Ooh. Gotcha. Okay. I wasn't expecting to get stuck up top there. Oh, 
What's my favorite controller to play with? Um, this one's a lot more comfortable, but I know the, uh, the original, like, the retro controller has a, mo a lot more, um, it looks a lot more sexy on camera. Sadly, my favorite, uh, Super Nintendo controller has died by now. There's one that I had that felt really nice to use, but sadly it's worn down by now. Okay, there's the door. Super close. Ooh, come on. How do I keep continuing? Uh, by having fun. Like, I'm having tons of fun here. Your mods can buy me a new one. I have plenty. Um, it's just hard to find one that... that's the same, you know? Like, I literally have over a dozen I think, Super Nintendo controllers. Kind of a ridiculous amount, but... Maybe not quite a dozen, but around that much-ish. But the manufacturing back then was very, um... inconsistent. Why did I not spin? You understand the pain of getting a controller that feels right? Yeah. I do have, um... I can still use the board in the controller that's died. Um, and then I can mix that together with another controller that I have where the buttons feel nice, but the inputs have, um... They have trouble registering the actual input sometimes, so I could probably, um, use the board from my old favorite controller and then mix that together with the, uh... the other controller that feels nice but doesn't quite work right. And then mix those two together and then hopefully get something good out of it. So I could try that. Nintendo Switch Pro Controller feels really good, no it doesn't. I have one. Um, I haven't tried the newer model of it, but the D-pad is, I think, isn't the D-pad slightly small? I forget. Um, but the D-pad has some, um, issues for me in terms of diagonal inputs that you get when you don't want them. But that was the old version of it. I think the newer ones are slightly better about that. I don't know. Really like the 8-bit dope pro controller. Same exact issue that I have with that. Um, diagonal inputs. When you don't want them. Happens all the time. It's a good controller if you're um, not playing Kaizo. But for Kaizo, you need a very particular quality of D-pad for it to work how you want. See, you don't like wireless. I mean, this is a wireless adapter that I'm using to get this wired controller to work. It's actually hooked up via wire to this uh, wireless adapter. And then this is connected via Bluetooth to a SNES adapter to my console. It doesn't really matter whether it's wired or wireless. The big thing that matters to me is the D-pad. What about the old-fashioned SNES controller? Um, again, those are really iffy in terms of manufacturing. Um, I would need to, uh, see if Frankensteining a new controller to replace my old one might produce something good. I do have one 
um, that works great right now, but um, the problem is the... It's a little bit stiff, so you need to exert some extra force into pressing the buttons down and you end up gripping the controller extra hard and that ends up hurting the hands a bit quicker, so... Like, it's a really good controller in terms of very accurate inputs and all of that, everything you need out of that, but it ends up hurting your hands quicker. So it's a bit of a trade-off that I don't want to take, especially when this Wii controller here works just as well as that Super Nintendo controller that I was using. And then this one doesn't hurt the hands nearly as much. I just might as well use this. Are you kidding me? Let me in the door, please! Okay, that was a good attempt. I'm pretty sure the problem with my old controller that I used to use, um, this one, I'm pretty sure the problem with this one is not oils getting inside of the controller, and it's that the, um, the actual rubber membrane inside of the controller got torn. Like, literally tore a hole in it that just makes it not responsive properly. Oh yeah, I said this one for TikTok, but uh, I don't have the hand cam on Twitch or YouTube. Yeah, I removed the hand cam to sort of simplify the layout. I prefer simple layouts on Twitch, um, but also to uh, show off my nice high quality webcam by making it bigger. Do I use PC? I play on a fancy clone console of a Super Nintendo called a Super NT. Man, that is such a tough jump to get the distance for. Whew. Is the Wii controller my favorite then? Uh, as of right now. My favorite right now, currently. Well, also, it doesn't quite have the same appeal as using a classic Super Nintendo controller. Ah, come on. Switches can be hard to aim for. Whew. Could make a hitbox to my specifications. Um, if my hand pain gets to a point where I need to, then I could, but I've been treating that as an absolute last resort. Because I really don't want to. There we go. I didn't hear a checkpoint sound. Point of advice! Congratulations for making it this far, by the way. This castle has some pretty neat decorative rugs, huh? Okay, puzzle? Big Boo? What's it talking about with the rugs? Oh, does that has to have to do with the, um... Is that the gimmick of the boss fight? No? Oh god, why can't I get back up? What? Oh, I th Oh! Okay, this is actually really cool. So you- So Mario can't jump up through those holes? I'm pretty sure that's how it works in the original game. Um, but if the hole lines up, then um... I think that you can get the blocks? Wait... No. Okay, so it's not... Not as cool as I was thinking, but... So when you go down, you just want to hit these. Oh, 
Oh, come on! Gotta love the spike hitbox taking up the full square. Okay. Okay. <sighs> oh, it goes past the right side of the screen. Okay, I was kind of expecting... Yeah, kind of expecting it to deflect off of the wall there. Ah, uh, shit, I'm dead. Yep. So if you get down there with the switch on, then you're just dead. I hit that way too soon. Or, like... I threw that too late. Yeah, I threw that too late. I just want to throw it up and then jump, rather than doing both together in a smooth motion. Makes things way too awkward. Jump too late there, though. Okay. Paula, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. Oh, I missed the switch! Really? Okay, come on. That was close, though. So I am assuming that this boo fight's gonna only take three hits, but it is possible that it ends up taking four hits to kill. Okay. Maybe I should do that a little bit later then. Like do the up toss later. I can be sure it lines up for me. To land between those holes. Oh god! Man, you gotta think fast, okay. You know, Andres, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Shit, man. And I'm just dead. Those are one way. You know, Paula B, thank you for the 10 TikTok gifts. Appreciate that. You know, Jonathan, welcome. Hope you're doing well. A little bit too late there, okay. I press jump just like a frame too late. Whew. Okay, once I find the right pattern here, it'll work real well. Just have to find that right pattern. Whew. That's it. Shit. Shit. No, why did I hit that? Why did I do that? Okay. I was really laser focused on, okay, next thing to do, get a block. They neglected to pay attention to where the lava was at. Oh, I couldn't even see where the spike was, okay. be nicer if the spikes weren't in the way. It would be easier, yeah, but 
the entire point of this is that it's hard. No! I tried to jump. I wasn't quite sure when the hole would turn around to the right there. I was slightly late on that one. Okay. It was a good attempt though. We're getting there. I'm just gonna assume that this fight takes four hits to beat. Oh, come on. I could also set the throw block on top of those spikes if I wanted to. Give myself slightly less to worry about. In fact, then I would have some time to um, maneuver over to the right side. Set myself up to... Um... Oh, come on. Yeah, to go down and grab the next block when it's available. Okay, that might be a good idea. We'll give that a shot. I didn't mean to throw it! Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume that we need all four blocks to kill the boo fight with. Okay. I just try to set it on top of the spikes. Okay. Slightly off with my aiming there. Okay. Okay. That was a good attempt. That was a good attempt. I think I grabbed the block a little soon there too. It might have expired. Okay, so I am... Okay, okay. <sighs> Yo, Jeffington the Third, welcome on in. How's the stream? Going good. Just about to beat this whole hack. I couldn't see. <laughs> okay. We're getting there, though. We have the strats. Just have to pull it off. Ah, uh, it didn't get hit by the second block. What happened to the second block? Did it disappear? Did I go Why didn't it get hit by the second block? Hmm. Might have disappeared. Oh, um, I don't know. I got so lucky there. Okay, okay. Okay, let's just wait here on the corner. <laughs> Shit! That was the last hit. Okay. I <laughs> <sighs> just had to make that jump. And then that would have been it. Oh, okay. okay. 
tried to hit the switch there, but I missed, so we'll just wait patiently here. Great going. Good job. <sighs> okay. This time for sure. This time for sure we got this. <laughs> Well, I was wrong. <laughs> Yo, Paula, thank you for the 10 ice cream cone gifts. Appreciate that. Oh, it's too high. That's not gonna, oh, thank God, okay. We're gonna have to wait here though, but that's fine. No! Oh, the hole was really in the way there and the lava was approaching fast. Okay, I just wanna not miss my cycle there. It works so much better if you get it on the first go. If you fall behind, then just everything falls apart. to jump. Man. Oh, come on. What's the hack called? This is a Super Mario World ROM hack called Rift World 2. It was made by Freakin' Ha. I was trying to be fast because eventually if you wait too long, the block will disappear out of your hands. But I was also having to dodge the holes at the same time and I just couldn't juggle both. Oh cool, I'm just dead. The block disappeared. I guess that means I dropped it too far to the right side of the set of spikes, something like that. <sighs> I disagree. Uh, this is an expert hack. Per SMW Central's ratings. I would say it's nowhere near as hard as um, some of the much harder hacks I've played. There's like kind of a tier above expert basically. This credits? Looks like credits. Let's go. Let's go. I guess you destroyed Bowser's spirit? Something doesn't feel quite right. Oh well, who cares? It's over. It's time to head home and relax. Now for some credits. Hell yeah. Riff World 2. Level design, freaking ha. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's go. You know, Rachel, thank you for the game controller. 
Uh, Jessica, thank you for the heart meat. Claudia, thank you for the starlight compass. Nick the Young, thank you for the five GGs. Julian, thank you for the 10 TikToks. Uh, Kulovic, thank you for the seven GGs. Jonathan Bean, thank you for the 10 GGs. Pat, thank you for the five GGs. Not an expert, thank you for the GG. Appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. Yo, Garrett, thank you for the roses coming in. Appreciate that. Mask Salesman, thank you for the game controller. We really appreciate that. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yep, that's the end. Ah, oh, what's next? Um, maybe third wall tech. I don't know if my hands are quite ready to get back to the uh, Beach Mouse speedruns. I mean, this controller definitely would help with that, but... Beach Mouse is its own beast. So maybe, um... I know Third Wall's hack would also be really, really brutal on the hands, but like... Nowhere near to the same degree as Alabama Beach Mouse. Yo, Paris Roxy, thank you for the confetti gift. Really appreciate that. I don't know, maybe... I don't know. We'll see how my hands are feeling. Maybe I could uh, go straight back to Beach Mouse because Third Wall's hack's gonna take a while. Did I finish yesterday's hack? Yeah, that one took me a little over an hour and that's it. People who complain about not being in the credits. The real Faye Valentine. Nice. <laughs> What's Beach Mouse? Ah, uh, it's another Super Mario World ROM hack. I can't thank all of you enough. I couldn't have done this without all of your hard work. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you for playing. Hell yeah. Feels good. Can you beat every hack? I mean, there are unbeatable hacks out there. Dedicated to my beloved cat, Mango, who passed away during the creation of this hack. I miss you. Oh, that's sad. Okay, I guess it gave me a checkpoint and killed me. Okay. Does that mean if I save this, that'll give me an exit? Because I, I didn't get a save prompt from that. Wait a second. If I go back into the castle, where's that take me? I mean, let's save, obviously, but... If I go back into the castle, where's that take me? Let's see. Just takes you back to the start. Yep. Okay. Wait. Or wait. You've made it. Bowser's spirit resides in these halls. Your quest to destroy him for good is almost over. Good luck. Yeah, this is the this is the boss fight I beat, right? Wait. Oh! No, that just okay. Okay, so that does take you to the start. Okay. Okay. Okay! So yeah, now we're free to uh, explore the other rooms if we want. I guess let's check out room A, because why not? What's in room A? Let's see. That's what's in room A. Okay. Okay. I think we're done. We don't need to beat every room. We beat the castle. We beat the final boss. We got the credits. No reason to go back through multiple trips of the final castle just because there are different paths you can take through it. Let's go. Hell yeah. Why the something doesn't feel quite right. Um, it, it's... You don't need to overthink it. It's not some, like, Grand Poo World 3 kind of deal or anything. Just notice your Dave Strider shirt. Hell yeah. <sighs> Hell yeah. Let's go. Yo, uh, Nemuru, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate that. All right. I think that's where we'll be ending stream today. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you want to catch the next stream, 
The follow button is up at the top of the screen. I also have a Discord through the link in my bio. Discord is the best place to get notified of when I go live. Uh, TikTok's kind of iffy about notifying you of live streams, so if you want to catch up with the, uh, if you want to keep up with the live streams, then be sure to join the Discord through the link in my bio. Um, I also have a YouTube channel over at TJB VODs where I uploaded every single stream from this Rift World 2 playthrough. And then you can watch the whole thing through as a playlist. So if you missed earlier parts of this ROM hack, you can watch it there over at TJB VODs on YouTube. Um, but yeah, again, feel free to give me a follow if you want. You can always unfollow if, you're ch if you change your mind later. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you all have a fantastic night and I will see you all next time.